I've heard many people describe conflict in so many words. Tama? Conflict. It's a word I think none of us want, isn't it? Isn't it? You guys like this? Parang walang reaction. Is conflict something you like to happen in your life every day? Definitely, not definitely every day. But the thing is, conflict is there, right? In my 25, more than 25 years as an HR practitioner, yes, you heard me right, it's 25 years more, but don't compute because we're gonna not speak about my age, but the topic. Ayan, nabuhay ni sila lang konti. If we talk about my years of experience as conflict, I've heard many people describe conflict in so many words. Tama? Some say that if they're in a conflict, they feel like their emotions are like volcanoes about to erupt. Right? If you look at Miriam Webster, they describe it as war. And those that are not confrontational may possibly describe it as a sickness, a plague, can be a pandemic, depends on what you're looking at. And there are those few who look at it like tidal waves coming down on you one after another. What is conflict like for you? You see, the way you look at conflict matters. Have you heard how you think becomes you and how you feel becomes you? It's true. Because if you look at conflict in a certain view, that's how you're going to be reacting to it. So if you look at conflict like a plague, you're going to avoid it. Not only will you avoid it at all costs, you would want to avoid people who are involved in it, isn't it? And if you feel like conflict are emotions that are like tidal waves coming down on you one after another, then it can be very overwhelming and frustrating at the same time. Yes? Now, I would want to hope that conflict doesn't happen to you, but it does. It exists in all our relationships, at home, at work, in church, globally. Maybe some of you may have been given advice in terms of how to handle and cope with conflict. Some say it's best handled by communicating better. That's true. But sometimes talking about it when you're not ready and you're still at an emotional high makes it worse. Tama? Away lang. Yan yung asawa ko, he would attest. Some, talking about marriage, maybe for married people just like me, some say, if you're in a conflict, don't go to bed angry. During our early years of marriage, I took this advice very seriously. My husband is there. I was so mad at John, mentioned talaga, no? That I didn't sleep at all because I was so angry. And it ended up, did I solve a problem? No, conflict become even worse. Why? Because conflict, not sleeping, not a good combination. Made me angrier, crankier, tired, and sleepy. Not good. Right? Others say, learn to compromise. But the problem with compromise is that when you do, and it's not who you are, 
it makes you experience inner conflict. And what if a compromise be like in such a way that you don't get what I want, I don't get what I want, none of us do, then we both end up miserable. Then conflict becomes, becomes unresolved, becomes stuck. True? Well, all these are well-meaning and well-intentioned. It handles conflict as if it's bad, right? Who well, amongst you think it's good? One, two, only three, only four, five, a little. But truth is, conflict can be good. What if you're given a chance that you change your mindset and what good, what bad can be good, what used to be a problem can be a solution, and what used to be negative can be positive? Because conflict in itself is not bad. It's neutral. It's like money is not bad. But money and the love of it, that's also bad. Conflict when taken seriously as a personal attack on the person versus just an issue, that's a problem, isn't it? Take for example, a manager in the middle of a meeting, then suddenly a direct report asks him a question. And he finds it more like a question of authority or a personal attack. What do you think will happen? Conflict. You see, Conflict is like an iceberg. It may seem small on the surface, but underneath is so big. If unresolved, can sink even the biggest boats like Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. And if your inner conflicts are not resolved, it can heap problems on your head it can tear you apart it can tear down relationships let me explain what I mean by that you see beside my husband is my son youngest you may not see it now because he's been healed but he used to be autistic can you imagine a mother hearing that he was autistic for the first time at two and a half years old? Conflict. I was so angry at my husband. I don't know why. I was angry at myself. I also don't know why. I was angry at the doctor. I was angry at God. In short, I was an angry person. Can you imagine working with an angry person? Expect conflict. There was one time when a friend of mine, during the normal annual performance appraisal, came to me for counsel. She said, Daisy, I need help. I have an employee, a direct report of mine, who got a very average rating, but I want her to be given the highest salary increase. Of course, HR, I said, no way. That's against policy. Despite explaining to her the rules, she refused to listen. But you see, it was not just a simple issue about favoritism or so I thought. It was more an issue of who I was at that particular moment. So when I denied her request and she pulled out the friendship card on me, I said, no way, I snapped. And because I snapped, I lost a friend, you see? I realized that one of the best ways to solve conflict are one, take out your emotions and look at it as an issue. If you're stuck, unstuck yourself by humbling yourself and resolving your inner conflict first. When I did, I got into the office. I said, I'm sorry. Hardest two words to do. But at that moment, it opened a door of opportunity, birth from conflict. And I gained back a friend. 
here in BLMCI, it's just a preview of what I'll do for you. There's more to it. So, kung bitin kayo, sign up. What is conflict like for you then?